Hi everyone, my name is Miss Erin, and today we will be making our own DIY school supplies. Now I say school supplies, but what I really mean is that we'll be making some really awesome pencil things. <laughs> so we will be making this beautiful, amazing pencil holder, <gasps> and Miss Maya will be showing you that later in the video. A bit of origami you can work on. Next, we will be taking these orange pencils and learning how to marble them beautifully. And finally, we will be making our own little pencil toppers. And this one is a Pikachu one I made. So you'll see all of that in the video. But before we start, I wanted to ask you guys a riddle. Mm. So I'm gonna ask you the riddle, and at the end of this video, Miss Maya will give you the answer. So let's see if you can get it right. Okay, are you ready? <clears throat> what starts with an E, but only has one letter in it? If you think you know the answer, you'll have to wait until Miss Maya tells you at the end if you're right. All right, let's get started. So to begin with, I'm going to show you how to marble pencils. You're gonna need the piece of foil from your bag, and then you also were given some pencils, and then you were given some paint in these type of little containers. Now before you start, there's gonna be a container of paint of blue paint, white paint, but then there's also going to be a container of Mod Podge. So try not to confuse the Mod Podge and the white paint. If you touch it a little bit, it's gonna be a lot stickier. That's the Mod Podge, so save that until later, okay? Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your container of blue and white paint, and you're gonna take a little bit, I'm just gonna use these for now, and you are going to spread it on your tin foil. So it's all mixed. And you want to make sure it's long enough for your pencil. Okay, and then what you need to do is grab some tape. Probably should have done this first. And you're going to wrap it around your pencil. Try to get some painter's tape if you have it, or tape like this. And we're just going to put it around the eraser so that we don't get any tape around this eraser part. I mean, so we don't get any paint around this eraser part. Perfect. Okay, that should do it. Okay, so it's really easy. You're just gonna take your foil and you're gonna take your pencil and you're slowly gonna roll it. Slowly roll it. And it's gonna marbleize. You might have to do it a couple of times. And what I noticed is that sometimes it kind of still shows a little orange. So what I do is I just grab my paintbrush and I just fill in those spots. So I'll just dab. I'll grab a little and I'll dab it. And fill in those spots. Fill them all in so you can't really see the orange. because I think the orange is just, just such a powerful color that it comes out like that. Okay, so that is looking pretty good, isn't it? Okay, so now the next important part is that you need it to dry, but you don't want it to really sit on anything. And I think one of the best things you can use is a paper plate. So what you do is you will just take the eraser part with the tape and you'll just lean it against the side so and let it dry, okay? So that's how you're gonna let your pencils dry and then when we're finished, we'll Mod Podge them. Okay, so we did one. Now, you can do the same for the next one or you can try to do different things. You can take your colors and you use the paintbrush and then you can just do stripes all around it or you can do 
kind of an ombre theme where you go darker to lighter and I just mixed my blue and white together to kind of make those colors. You can do polka dots, you can do any design you want for your own pencils, okay? These are actually dry. Once your pencil is actually dry, the next thing to do is we're gonna Mod Podge it, okay? Mod Podge is just this special kind of glue that's gonna give it kind of a sheen. It's gonna make it really pretty. So once it's dry, mine's not dry, so I'm gonna let it be, but once it's dry, we'll take this one, you're just gonna take a little Mod Podge. So what I do is I just put a little on my finger and then you just spread it across your pencil and you're just gonna coat it. Now make a, it feels a little like glue and you're thinking, oh, why are you doing this? It's so silly. But it'll, it'll make your pencil a lot better. And so you're gonna do that across the whole entire pencil, okay? It'll keep that paint in. And if it looks a little white, that's okay. Mod Podge usually the color goes away after a while. So we're gonna do that around the whole pencil and we'll let that dry. And once you do that, your pencil will be done. The next thing is we wanna learn how to make our very own pencil toppers. You were given this type of clay. It's model clay, it's squishy. So you should get a bag of this. Now we are gonna show you how to make it into a Pikachu, but you can turn it into anything you want. I just really wanted to do my own little Pikachu. And if you notice, he's missing an ear and a tail. And that is because this model clay, once it's dried out a little bit, it's a little delicate. And I picked my Pikachu up with the ears. I picked up the whole pencil and it broke off. So be careful with that, okay? Okay. The great thing about this model clay is that you're going to get white. And the, only, the really great way to color it is to grab a marker, yellow for Pikachu. We'll grab a piece. And you just color it like this. And then you smush it together. And you break it apart and you smush it together. This is gonna get paint all over it because I have paint all over my hands. <laughs> but if you keep doing that and you keep putting color onto it, you'll start to dye the model clay. And I did some like this. And you, I had to do it about like 20 times to get the color I wanted, okay? So you just keep doing that until you get that color. And I'll show you how to make the Pikachu, okay? Okay. So what you do, so we're gonna grab a piece like this. We're gonna roll it up into a ball. And this will be Pikachu's stomach, okay? You want a good smooth ball. Perfect. Now this part is really important because you want it to be a pencil topper. We want it to be able to fit on our pencil, okay? So we're going to have to do this first. I poke it real quick where I want the bottom to be. want to make a little bit of a hole. Uh oh. This air dry clay is really strong. Okay. So it's kind of like that, a hole like that. Make it a little deeper because you want to make sure it fits your pencil. So now I'm going to try to put my eraser in. It's okay if it changes shape a little bit. We'll fix that. So you got to make sure that it fits on. And then we're going to make the ball a little better, okay? We're going to fix it. So we got that hole. And then we'll roll it again so that it's more of a circular shape, okay? And that's a little better. Okay, we got our Pikachu tummy. It's a little blue because I was using paint, so make sure you wash your hands, okay? Okay. Perfect. Okay. Next, we are going to do the head. So we're going to make a slightly smaller ball. Same deal. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Okay. Great theme is that at the beginning, it's very sticky. Okay. Opposite of our hole, we're going to put this ball, and that'll be his head. Now you just smash it a little so it's going to stick, but you don't have to do it too hard because now it's pretty firm on there, okay? All right, next, we're going to pick where it's the cutest. I say right there, and we are going to do our face. So I also did the same marker coloring, and I got some pink and some black. Ooh, it's got paint all over it. 
Okay, so I'm going to take a little piece of pink off, cut that in two, and we will roll these real quick. One, two. So we've got these two red balls, and we're going to stick them on his face on the sides right here, just like that. I may put a little too much on this one. Flatten them out a little bit, and we got some cheeks. So next, just like this. Next, we're going to do the eyes. So I made a little black as well. And we'll make two little balls of the black, OK? So one, two. And we are going to put them right up here. And those are going to be Pikachu's eyes, OK? He's a little derpy looking, but that's the way we like them. Okay, next we're just going to take a little bit of the white, and I just like to put that on top of the eyes, so we give them a little bit more of an eye look. Boop. Another one, small, small piece. And the good thing is you will probably have enough clay to make a couple of these toppers, okay? So you can make anything you want. I've seen some really cool ones. A strawberry, a dinosaur. Okay, so that's our Pikachu so far. We got that. Now to do the mouth, I just used my marker and I colored that one in. So I gave him a little nose and I gave him a little smile, just like that. Okay, so next we're going to do the arms and feet. So we'll go back to our yellow. We'll grab off a little piece and another little piece. And we're going to roll these, just like balls. Pikachu's great because he's a really easy one to make. Roll this one. Okay, and we're going to place them on his feet. Right here. And I like to make mine a little pointier. Perfect. Boo boo. Sha boo boo. He's starting to look great, isn't he? And the good thing is you can keep remodeling it. If you have some problems with it, you just smooth it out. Because it stays, it stays pretty movable for a while. So we got his legs. Now let's do his arm. We're going to grab another couple of pieces. I've been making mine a little big, so. OK. Now this one, what I do is I roll it out like a snake, like this. And then I flatten it. I flatten the bottom half like that. And then I kind of just move it the way I like it so it looks a little bit more like an arm. And then I stick it on. Now when I do the arms, I like to use my nails and just push it in a little bit so I know that it's going to stay on. And then smooth it out a little bit. OK, so we got one arm. And then we'll do the next arm, a little snake. Smush it and place it on just like that. And use my nails to kind of firm it in, make sure it looks good. I'm rubbing his tummy, that Pikachu. And finally, the ears. OK, so you might not want to make them as big as I did because they fell off. But these are going to be similar to the arms. We're going to make them like snakes, like this. And then we're going to flatten them out until they look like they're ear-shaped, OK? So we'll stick that on, kind of form it while it's on there. Boop, boop. There's one, if you want to make it a little sharper at the top, pointy ears. And then we'll do the next one, flatten it. Like this, make it pointy at the top. Beautiful. OK, and we'll add this one on. And I want to make sure that it looks kind of similar to the other ear. So we're going to flatten out a little bit and make it pointy. Just take some off. <laughs> His ears are way off. 
Okay. So you can take a little more time with it so that it looks a little bit better. I think that looks pretty good. Okay. Okay, and then finally what I did is I just took a black marker and I just colored right onto it to make the tips, okay? So now we have made our own and this you can just kind of smush on. We've made our own little Pikachu. And now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna actually want it to rest and kind of dry up a little bit actually on the pencil so that it keeps that little pencil slot in there. And so you're just gonna let this rest. Hi everyone, Miss Maya here today to tell you about how you can make this awesome folded paper origami recycled um, upcycled pencil case. I really like the word upcycled because that means we're taking something left over that typically we would throw away and we're turning it into something new and cool that we can use. Not only is it fun to craft something all by yourself, but it's also really good for the environment. All right, so today to make this, you'll need some tape, some scissors, a marker or a good pen, a ruler, some glue, your hands, and we're including these leftover flyers from our summer reading program so you guys can make an upcycled folded paper uh, pencil case just like this. Okay, so you're gonna need to tape together two of the flyers and I'll do that with you today. So I'm just taking some tape and putting the pieces down right where the flyers meet up, right where the seam is. Just a little bit of tape here and there. And then I'm gonna flip it over. I would love to see what you guys end up coming up with if you use any alternate paper as well. Totally see if your parents can tag a picture of what you made with us on Instagram. I think that would be really cool. Okay, that should be good. So you're gonna wanna do this twice so you end up with two sheets of paper this size, okay? Almost looks like a full sheet of paper. So after this, we're going to measure on here um, 20 by 20 centimeter square, which I'll do with you right now so you can take a look at how that works. And then we're gonna cut it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ruler, I'm gonna go to the centimeter side, which is the smaller ones, and I'm going to line it up with the edge Look all the way down until I see the number 20 down here. And I'm gonna mark the 20, okay. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for this side. So I'll line up my ruler with the top of the paper so that one is up here, 20 is all the way down here. And then I'm gonna mark the 20 like that. So do you see I have a mark right here and I have a mark right here so I'll go ahead and I'm going to line use the ruler to line from mark to mark make it straight and then I'll trace that line along the ruler with my marker there we go that looks a little uneven <laughs> that's okay let's trace it again and see if we can get it to be evened out Gotta roll with the punches. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better, it'll be fine. All right, so now let's do it along this side. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and I'm gonna measure from this way, or no, mm, we did it here, here. We'll do it along this side, sorry. So, okay. Let's measure, I'm gonna line it up along the short edge here, and then we're gonna be counting along the long edge. 20 is right here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for this side. I'm gonna line it up on the short edge here, and then measuring along the long edge, 20. And then we will line them up, draw the line, okay. This is our square that we're gonna cut out now. We'll go ahead and cut that square out 
and then we'll have two pieces left over. Making your own school supplies is such a cool concept. I really like it because then you have the creativity to make whatever set you want. You know, with those pencil toppers, or you can use a themed type of paper for the pencil holders. It can match your backpack, you can match your other pencil cases, or even your computer that you're using. Lots of creativity with this one. Okay, there we go. So here's our square that we'll be folding, and we also have this thicker piece left and this skinny piece. This skinny piece, do whatever you want with it. Figure something out, something fun to do with it. We're not gonna use the rest of this for this craft today. However, do hang on to this thicker piece because we will need that later. All right, let's get folding. So what we're gonna do is turn it so that it's a diamond, take your top corner, and fold it all the way down to your bottom corner like that hold the two corners in place with your finger use your other finger to trace to the middle and then you can use the top of your nails to kind of crease out now remember how i was kind of off on the measurement on the bottom one it shows us that that happened because there's a little bit of white here and i honestly think there's no shame in trimming so that it's even. So we'll do that really quick. We'll give it a little trim so that it's a perfect triangle. There we go. So let's unfold this. You see how there's a crease here now. So we want that crease to be there, but on the other side that we haven't folded in half yet, we're gonna grab that and fold that in half. Do the same thing where you hold the corner down, trace to the middle, and push out to the sides. We can trim again. That'll be fine. How is school going for you guys? Is it weird having it all digital now? Do you still get to chat with your friends? Okay, so we unfold it. We have the crease going this way. We have the crease going that way. It makes an X. The X it hits its middle right here in the very middle, and that is what's important. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the top two corners here, and you're gonna fold them in so that they're both touching the middle X. Okay, middle and then we can crease using our nails. I think that was a little too far out, so let's see how this one goes in too. There we go, meets in the center. Crease, crease, there we go. And it should make a triangle. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to fold the triangle down on top of the bottom half of the paper. So you're just folding it in half. You're just folding it right in half. And your end product should be this upside down triangle with the white rectangle underneath it, okay? So that's where we're at. And if at any point you need to pause the video, take your time to fold it, make sure your creases are really nice and good, that is okay. I will be here when you're ready. So let's flip it over so all we see is that triangle with our cute little lion and our guy who looks like a big green superhero and let's fold this in half so we're folding it in half so it makes a square and then crease it really good it's getting a little bit harder to do that so make sure you really give it a good fold and fold both sides so that is all the folding we're gonna do for now. You're gonna need to make two of these. So you'll do the whole process again, where you'll cut everything out. Feel free to rewind and watch it again. You'll cut it out into a square, and then you'll do all the folding. So we have two of these. Now, I've already made my other one, so I'm good to go. 
this is the trickiest part. So you see how there's the little, these flaps on both sides here, and then these pockets. One of the flaps is gonna go in between the other one, one of the set of flaps is gonna go in between here, kind of sandwiched in like a book, and these two flaps are gonna tuck into the pockets on this one. Okay, so this is the tricky part where we're gonna merge these two together. You are going to wanna make sure that the one in your left hand goes in between this one, and the one in your right hand, the two flaps here and here, go into the two pockets here and here. Let's try that. Okay, ready? So that the two middle ones go in between, the two flaps go in that pocket, and in that pocket, and we push it together so it looks like a square. Then flip it to the top, and there should be your two outer pockets and your two inner flaps. And if we, oh, that's okay, we'll try it again. So two inner flaps, two outer pockets, flip it to the top, and if we open it up like that, see how there's a hole? That is our pencil case, hi! Okay, so now that we're here, we've opened it up. If this doesn't work out for you, um, it might be that you've switched which, like the right side is on the inside and the left side is in the pockets. That's not gonna work. So just take them apart again and try again until you get it. I will admit that it took me a while to figure that part out, okay? All right, so we have our hole right here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to make sure that those are good to go. We're going to squish it the other way. So we're gonna push down and fold it the other way. So on the side that wasn't folded, it's now folding. So it looked like this when we started it, and then we opened it up and squished it this way. And then we'll do our creases. Okay, there we go. Ta-da, now we have our big, tall part of the pencil case. We just have to make the bottom now. Okay, do you remember the big piece I told you to keep? This piece here that I told you to keep from the initial piece of paper that we made? On that piece, you are going to measure a square that is seven by seven centimeters. So we're gonna do that same tactic where we line it up and we count, you know, we count to seven and we make a mark at seven and we mark there. We line it up down here. We measure to seven centimeters and we make a mark down here. Line those two marks up, draw a line, and then we'll do it um, along here as well. So we line it up, we make a mark at seven here. We can line it up down here, make a mark at seven, line those two marks up, and then draw another line like this. I did that already just so it would be ready for you guys to see, but you're gonna do that where you make the seven by seven square. We're gonna cut the square out, so don't, just you can get rid of all the other scraps, we'll just cut the square out. Okay, everyone, when you are done cutting out your square, we have a little bit more measuring to do. I promise this is the last measuring of the, of the project. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make one by one centimeter squares in each corner so we can cut them out. So I have one centimeter down. I'm gonna draw a line and then one centimeter out across this way, I'm gonna draw a line. And you see how that makes a little tiny box in this corner? That's what we're looking for. So I'm gonna measure one centimeter out from here, and one centimeter down from here. Perfect. 
we go. And then we'll do it here too. So we'll mark one centimeter out. I'm just gonna mark here and then I'll make the squares. And then one centimeter out from this corner is about here, so a little bit further. And then we'll draw our box. Just using the straight edge to get the box even. There we go. Okay, last corner. Last bit of measuring. Okay, one centimeter out from here. One centimeter out from this corner. And then we'll draw our box. I think this was a little too far because that looks, well, let's see. That looks more like a square there. Okay, now we are going to cut these squares out. Just cutting the little corners out of each side. So it'll end up looking like a really chunky plus sign. And with that plus sign, we're gonna take each wide corner, each wide side. So we're just folding the sides in so that we can glue it into our box so that we have our bottom for our pencil case and so that none of your pencils fall out. Okay, so I folded all my corners in they're nice and creased. We're gonna take our pencil, our bottomless pencil case, and we're actually gonna push it in from, we're gonna push the bottom in from the top and kind of scoot it down. You can use your marker or your pencil to scoot it, uh-oh, there it goes, to kind of finagle it down to the bottom. See how it's made it all the way to the bottom there? So, there we go. Okay, now, down here, this is the most delicate part. There's the little seams where we're gonna put glue in. If it pops out, that's okay. Let's open up our glue. Whoop. And then we're gonna scoot the glue on the side and kind of scoot that back in. Scoot the glue on the side. If you just wiggle it a little bit, it'll pop out just enough for you to put some glue in. Scoot the glue on the side. Okay, last side. Oop. Come on, stay in there. Last side. All right. Got all our glue glued down, good to go. I like to take the pencil and kind of rub the sides along the inside so the glue really sticks to the inside. I might even glue down this right here on the side because this paper keeps flapping out. And we're gonna leave it to dry and then your pencil case is totally done. You did it. Good job. That's awesome. So when it's dry, the bottom stays in. You can put pencils in it and everything works out. All right, you guys, make sure to show me your creations when you're done here. Thank you for sticking through the pencil case of cycled folded paper tutorial with me. That was awesome. All right, I'll see you at the end. Bye. All right, you guys, that is all Miss Erin and I have for you today. I hope you guys have a wonderful time making your new creations for school and don't be afraid to show us online on our social media. At the beginning of class, you may remember Miss Erin asked you guys a riddle. The riddle was, what word starts with E but only has one letter in it? What do you guys think it was? Any guesses? Well, I am happy to tell you that the answer is envelope. <laughs>
<laughs> get it? Because it starts with E and it has a letter, like a written letter in it. <laughs> anyway, did you guess that? I didn't, she had to tell me. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much and we hope to see you next time. I hope you have a lot of fun. See you later, have a good week, bye.